Well, it looks like they priced in PPI yesterday along with CPI because the markets are doing absolutely nothing today. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bob's Daily Update for Wednesday, the 14th of September. And I don't know, pretty quiet market. Uh, we thought we'd try to trade the uh, PPI number and there was nothing to trade. So it's been pretty quiet. Markets are a little bit higher, actually a little bit mixed, I guess. You know, when you get this, they'll either be higher or lower. Uh, you were kind of whipping around, you know, somewhere within close to the unchanged. Russell's the only one that's lower. We are still short across the board. Uh, crude is spiking higher once again, as uh, President Biden said he's going to refill the SPR at 80. I don't know where he's going to get his oil unless they're going to drill it themselves. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, crude is higher, uh, and we are still short, as well as nat gas is higher, and we're short that as well. Bonds and notes are lower. We continue to remain short, and of course, interest rates are going higher, so no reason not to be there. And uh, gold and silver are split once again. Gold continues to go lower, pushing back towards that 1700 And silver is kind of hovering around 1950 So it's, a, it's an interesting, uh, interesting market there. And, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, it looks like they want to go lower. I mean, you know, look, as, as much as I'd like to tell you they're going higher, it doesn't look like it at the moment. Eventually they will. Uh, the dollar is lower. We're still long. Uh, the euro currency is higher, or it's flat, we'll call it, and we're still short. Copper is lower, we're short. Uh, in the uh, grain markets, they're, wheat's the only one that's higher, uh, but they're pretty close to unchanged, other than wheat being up $0.08. Cents. We're, we're long corns, we're long wheat, and we're short beans. Uh, in the beef complex and the proteins, uh, down across the board, uh, we're short hogs, we're short feeders, we're long fats. They're all really within unchanged. I mean, it's, again, it's not like they're having a major sell-off or a major rally. They're within 35 cents of, uh, of break-even. So more or less break-even at the moment. Uh, in the softs, uh, uh, cocoa's lower, we're short. Cotton is higher, we're short. Sugar is uh, flat, we're short. OJ is higher, we're long. And uh, coffee is under pressure once again, and we're still long. It's a really quiet day. Suddenly, we went from a million miles an hour yesterday to now back to the, the dregs of slow, quiet, nothing to do type of trade. Uh, again, I just urge you to be careful. You know, this, this market is getting ready to make a much bigger move. And I, I do think that the, the overall market is going to uh, break to the downside, but it's still a challenge and you got to be patient. And wait for that price action to trigger for you, because otherwise you're just shooting darts. Okay. So in the meantime, don't forget about our sponsors, Capital Trading Group, and of course, Trader Brokerage, who is sponsoring our Vegas event uh, and uh, the live stream, which you get special pricing if you have an account or open an account with them. Uh, and of course, our high school program. And until tomorrow, uh, at least we'll have football tomorrow night if uh, if the markets are quiet. Uh, but uh uh, we'll see what happens in the meantime. Have a great day, everybody. This is Bubba's Daily Update for Wednesday, September 14th. And uh, let's see what happens. We'll see you back here again tomorrow.